pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Gators. Welcome to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Destiny. And I'm Jazz. Yearbooks are on sale until January 13th for $75. You can order them before and after school in room 902 or in the first five minutes of your lunch. Also, dual enrollment textbooks will be returned to the Media Center starting Monday the 12th. See Ms. Kerr for more information. Students with parent permission to leave after the first period exam on Thursday, December 22nd, must bring in a note to the main office no later than Friday, December 6th. The note from the parent stating that they wish their son or daughter to leave after first period on Thursday must contain the following information. It must contain the student name and ID, a number where your parents can be reached with their names, also a reason why you're leaving school in your first period teacher name. The class of 2018 t-shirts and hoodies pre-sale is happening now. Stop by Ms. Wilson's room in 308 to pick up the order form. Toys for Tots is still going on. You can donate for a good cause and a potential win for a party. Our drama students brought home 16 excellent and superior ratings at last week's individual events competition. Be sure to congratulate them. Our school store Gator Bait soon will have more than just balloons. We'll also have school stock supplies such as flash drives, earbuds, pens, etc. Those that wish to attend the talent show today must be wearing their pink on-track band. The talent show will be held during all lunches in the mini theater. The Flapjack 5K 1K run is this Sunday. It starts at 6 and ends at 11. If you want volunteer hours, see Miss Perkins. There's a boys soccer game today versus golf at 6. Also, there's a girls varsity soccer game versus Milton at 6. <laughs> present on Christmas Eve. My favorite holiday tradition is actually celebrating my birthday. I was born on Christmas. So people have to give me stuff. <laughs> my favorite holiday tradition. I'd have to say having two weeks away from Sage. <laughs> oh, in all seriousness, probably my favorite holiday tradition is Christmas Eve with my family. We always celebrate that um, with all the fanfare. Uh, ties are required. <laughs> Um, girls are always dressed up, and we have a big dinner, and um, sing Christmas carols, and then open presents, and typically somebody appears um, in the big red suit for all the little children and gives them presents. Christmas dinner with my family. My favorite holiday tradition is getting Chinese food and seeing a movie on Christmas Eve. My favorite holiday tradition, I think, is Making Christmas cookies with my mom when I was growing up and my kids did it with me and now my grandchildren are doing it with my daughter and I. We always make Christmas cookies. Um, the first week of December, Swedish spritz um, are a tradition because my both of my parents' parents were right from, straight off the boat from Sweden. And I think reading the night before Christmas. My favorite holiday tradition was always growing up my mom would make a seven fish dinner with fresh tomato sauce and lobster and scallops and then afterwards we'd all go to uh, Christmas Eve mass. My favorite holiday tradition is assigning large projects over Christmas break. Happy holidays guys! <laughs> Short Sports, I'm Jacob Brown. Today I'm going to talk about the NBA and the NHL, starting with the NBA. The Cleveland Cavaliers beat down the New York Knicks last night, 126-94. It was a dominating performance by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kevin Love went off in the first quarter. The Cavs went on a 10-0 run or a 12-0 run in that first quarter, and that was it for the game. The Knicks were horrible defensively. They had no Derrick Rose. Their offense was sporadic all night, so they couldn't get anything done. Cleveland is the clear favorite in the Eastern Conference. Moving on to the Western Conference in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors beat down on the Los Angeles Clippers, who seem to be their main opponent in the Western Conference. Moving on to the NHL, the Tampa Bay Lightning have struggled a little bit this season. They've had to battle with a lot of injuries so far. Steven Stamkos, Ryan Callahan, Anton Strallman have all been out with various injuries at points. Ben Bishop has not been what he was last year, but I do think that the Lightning can be saved once Stamkos is ready to come back and maybe if some of these other offensive guys like Tyler Johnson can pick up the slack offensively, Tampa Bay will be just fine. 
So for this edition of Shore Sports, I'm Jacob Brown, and we'll see you next time. And that's it for today, Gators. Tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.